Hey guys, uh, this will be the second video from the uh, Carolina Social Training Program. This is actually how to execute a catering, how to set it up properly. Um, the first thing you do is you're going to be wheeling this into someone's um, office and it'll kind of look like this. Typically we um, put the tables on the bottom, you've got your cooler, you got your tub, you got your toppings, and you got your um, pump. Be sure, you know, when you're, you're taking it, you've got both hands on it. Um, these pumps are about $600. So we do not want this thing to fall off there. Um, you probably go to the receptionist. You'll ask, hey, I'm with Carolina Socials doing your ice cream party today. Um, do you know where I need to set up? Um, typically, it's probably in a, in a break room. Um, it could be in a conference room. It could be in a couple different places. So once you get in there, the first thing you want to do is you want to pu plug your pump in. Um, typically, you want to keep that hot. It's just so much easier to pump when um, it's hot. Just find a find an outlet in there somewhere. And then at that point, you're gonna be starting to set it up. Um, the first thing we would do is we just wanna take everything off. You're gonna have two six foot tables. Um, your first six foot table is going to be in front of you. A second six foot table that will be behind you. Okay, I would just get rid of the part and put it behind the table behind you. Um, the next thing you do is you're going to get in the tub. You want to grab your two skirts. One skirt is for the table behind you. second skirt is going to be the table in front of you. Now there's a seam on the skirt. We want to make sure that um, you follow the seam along the edge of the table. See the seam is right here. So I'm going to put that on the back edge of the table. Okay. And you also want to check to see that the skirt kind of falls at the same distance on the bottom of each side, so it looks really nice. Okay. Lastly, we're going to put a runner on there. Um, typically, they're going to be blue. Just kind of adds a little bit of color to our display. And we run right there. The next thing we can do is we can put the cooler. We always uh, put the cooler on the back because typically they're ugly. Uh, you, you don't want the, the customers to see the cooler. You want the customers to focus on all the toppings. The next thing you're going to do back here is you want to put the pump. It just makes sense when you grab the ice cream, you grab, you pump it, and then you hand them the ice cream. It's just a lot easier. Uh, on the front line, you need to figure out where the customers are coming from. If they're coming from this way, you put the, the sign of flavors facing them first, or if they're coming this way, you put your sign of uh, flavors that way as well, because you want to flow them through. There's no sense they come this way and the signs over here, because then it gets all discombobulated. Um, the next thing we would do is we want to put out the toppings. Um, it's real important when you're sitting on the toppings, don't put the crate of toppings on the table because a lot of times these crates are dirty from the from the storage location the cave location if you do it you're going to leave dust stains all over the um, skirt what i like to do is i always like to do sprinkles first and i like to um, switch up the colors 
so they're kind of spread out. Kind of helps visually. The next thing we do is we put um, spoons at the end. We open napkins, we put napkins right near the end. And then we leave a little space for the whipped cream to go right there. The next thing we have signs. Um, we obviously want to make sure if you look closely at this sign holder, it's kind of angled backward a little bit. We just want to make sure that the sign is angled back like this. And then we just put all the signs right in front like that. So obviously you would do that all the way across. Um, we also have our coupons. You can kind of put those down here as well. Um, they're basically information on how to hire Carolina Social, so it's important that we have those out. And then the last thing that we will do is we'll have ladles. And typically I don't put ladles out until about five or 10 minutes before the event starts. Because you put the ladles out, people think you're open for business and you'll get harassed. So you just wanna kind of keep your ladles right there just so it's easy to execute. But that's pretty much, this setup is for pretty much for anywhere from 50 to 150 people. It's kind of one of our smaller setups, but it's real condensed or it's real easy. Um, and when you do take the, uh, the, the, um, the lids off, all the ladles are facing toward the customer because they add their own toppings. That's what makes this fun and interactive is the idea that they can um, put it on their own um, toppings as much as they want. Um, so what you're gonna do is you always ask, hey, what flavor would you like? You always will give them a very warm greeting. Hey, how you doing? You know, talk with, um, you know, assertiveness with some volume. If you say, hey, how you doing? You know, it's just not very warm and welcoming. Hey, how you doing today? Um, here's a list of our flavors. You wanna give that point so they know where to look. Um, I always do that, but like, hey, here's a list of our flavors. If they say vanilla, the next question you're gonna ask is, hey, would you like any hot fudge or caramel? You wanna ask them up front so you get it and then hand it to them. There's no sense of grabbing the ice cream and then be like, do you want hot fudge or caramel? Because you're kind of wasting time at that point. Um, if they want hot fudge or caramel, I usually say half a pump. So if they want caramel, half a pump. If they want fudge, half a pump. If they want both, half a pump of each. If they'll, Sometimes you'll have a customer, they'll say, hey, can I get more fudge? Then give them a full pump. Just let them dictate how much they want. Because some people like more, some people like less. So we usually start at half a pump. Um, you want to maintain the table throughout the event. Um, if ladles fall, be sure to put the ladles back. If M&Ms fall on the table, um, chocolate chips fall on the table, you want to clean those up. If you ever get to the point where, you know, your spoons are getting empty, you know, combine them and then restock another one. You always want to keep everything looking full. Um, it just presents a lot better. Um, and you always want to say thank you. Hope you, hope you enjoy it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you set it up.